two men well established in this sport. Graham Walsh at the age of 35, a pro now for 14 years. And their KO percentages down at the bottom there suggesting that this is going to be hard won tonight. But which way will it go? Maxi Hughes is the bookmaker's favourite. A proud night for Yorkshire boxing. Maxi Hughes on the far side there from around 40 miles away from here in Rossington with Josh Warrington top of the bill just as it was in Headingley last September when Maxi Hughes produced the performance of his career. Can he build on that tonight? As Ryan Walsh gets on the front foot, said at the press conference earlier this week, he challenged Maxi Hughes to stand in the centre of the ring. Yeah, doing exactly what he said he was going to do, Mike. Like you say, straight to centre of the ring. He was saying he wants his wood con at the moment. He wants to show that he's tough and he can be involved in a war if need be. And I've always felt that Ryan Walsh can and does carry a bit of a dig, and I felt I put this weight, though he may be given a bit away in height and reach, etc. He may be able to generate more power. Maxi Hughes, as we head into the final minute of the opening round, looking to establish that right-hand lead from the South Boss Dance, and that big left hand that did the damage against Giovanni Straffon, and almost forced an inside the distance win for Maxi Hughes, again landing there, not quite as flush this time on the chin of Brian Walsh. That was a lovely shot, Mike, really was, beautifully timed left hand, he took it well, Ryan Walsh, though. 24 wins in his career for Maxi Hughes, five of those, though, have come inside the distance, but can he make his power tell here against Ryan Walsh coming up two weight divisions? Ryan saying all of this week that his older brother Michael has been urging him to make the step up for a long, long time. And he's been talking, Ryan, about how comfortable he's felt in the build-up, in particular in terms of nutrition. This is a very assured start by Maxi Hughes, holding his feet in the centre of the ring as he was goaded into doing by Ryan Walsh at that press conference I was mentioning. Sean O'Hagan in the corner saying that Ryan Walsh will try to goad him in the ring as well. Yeah, good composed boxing from Maxi Hughes. There's that little dip, then he follows it up with a lovely arcing left hand over the lead right of Ryan Walsh, who, for me, just needs to bring his feet in to be able to let the shots go. One, two, left hand. Hit the target to bit the sting out of it, more of an arm shot from Maxi Hughes and landing on the target, very accurate with the shot. A bit more aggression on the front foot from Ryan Walsh there, he's trying to close that gap. Good right hand over the top. He tried for a spell there in the orthodox stance to try and make it work and the legs just stiffened slightly there, terrific right hook from Hughes. A couple of times, it seems like Ryan Walsh's legs have stiffened slightly and they definitely did with that shot. Some blood over the left eye, I think, of Ryan Walsh. It may have been from the, the right hook that landed. Boxing nicely, Maxi Hughes. Some quality punches being picked here and landed by Maxi Hughes. This is a very accomplished performance as we head towards the closing seconds of round three. Brilliant left hand once again. Into round four, Maxi Hughes assessing that performance in the third round is growing into this contest. Wonderful accuracy with single shots in that third round from both hands. Lovely left upper cut from Maxi Hughes. He's got up the tempo, Ryan Walsh has got to get close, he's got to let his hands go. He's just said and done. The operator like Max is so experienced, like I say, on that good run of form. So he's used to winning, you know what it takes. Three punch combination on the back foot as Ryan Walsh came forward.
work from Maxi Hughes. Double jab, right, uh, left hand, sorry. But oh, very impressive round for me from Maxi Hughes, the way he's moved. Always twitching, always fainting, always making marvelous point think. Trying to draw out that lead, jabbing, moving well. So composed. He's got to get close, but he's wary of doing so because he's counted every time he, he steps in. Hughes, too, responding with one of his, and that right hand has been successful for him in opening up the chances for the backhand across these first nearly completed five rounds now. It was a good left hand, but in from Walsh backfired. Maxi Hughes. Still plenty of desire in the work of Ryan Walsh here as we come towards the final few seconds of round five. Being pushed back slightly by, by Ryan Walsh. He's still the boss, he's still in command, he's still working the jab and managing to land the target. Far more often than Ryan Walsh, who needs to up the tempo now. He's got to get close, he has to bring those feet, and he's got to work the body first with the straight shots. This is better, keep going. And again, Maxi Hughes just knows has the know-how, the experience, just to take the feet out of range, regroup and start again. Good work to the body as well from Maxi Hughes in that most recent exchange, as there has been throughout the contest so far as we head towards the halfway stage. Maxi Hughes, very confident, very accurate, and composed across the first six rounds so far. Yep, doing everything right at the minute. Not putting a foot wrong, lots of variation, changing the tempo with the shots, the levels, plenty of variation. He doesn't really have to do anything different, in my opinion, it's down to Ryan Wolf's uh, to up the tempo, he's got to go through the gears. Yeah, just running out of ideas, isn't he? This has been a great performance so far from Maxi Hughes, finding that left hand again, time and time again, but it's the movement, I can't stress enough how impressed I've been with it. That jab's worked, there's just so much variety in the shots. He's running out of ideas, Ryan Walsh, no answer to the puzzle. That is Maxi Hughes, he's very accomplished, working the body now, two shots. Seen a bit of everything from him. Well, Ryan Walsh challenged in the corner to let the hands go, but when he does, he's being countered so effectively by Maxi Hughes that it's making him apprehensive. Yeah, he's just pouring the jab out there instead of stepping in because he's just worried about what's coming back from Maxi Hughes. He's coming back with sharp, snappy combinations. Like you say, not getting greedy, listening to Sean, he's throwing ones and twos, but that's working so far. Though the, the bigger man, you could say, is on the back foot, it's the way he's navigating himself through this contest. Moving with ease and just landing the shots at him without being too greedy and aggressive with them. Making Ryan Walsh miss on the inside and just shy of the target with that left uppercut. Tried it twice in a row. Really has been a good display of boxing from Maxi Hughes. One for the purest for me. And at the age of 35, Ryan Walsh aware that there won't be too many more opportunities on a night like this to build on his career. To build a career outside of the featherweight division in which he won a Lonsdale belt for the British title outright down the years. Way back in 2015, he took that domestic title for the first time. This is better from Walsh, he's missed with a few shots, but at least he's letting them go. And still being urged by his corner and to again. do that is worse. 
Afghan went in there. This is better. It was like that blood at the top of the head of Wolves. So a real sense of urgency in the Wolves corner. Had some success in that previous round from the southpaw stance. Now switching to orthodox. Once again, trying to find the leaks if there are any. And there have been few so far in the defensive work of Maxi Hughes. Also, as if responding to Ryan Wall showing a greater sense of urgency at the beginning of this round, whipping in those straight shots. So into the final round of what's been a very impressive performance so far from Maxi Hughes, building on this so impressive run in his career. Five wins in a row. Among the goading messages from Ryan, Ryan Walsh during fight week was a statistic that shows during the career of Maxi Hughes, he's never won more than five fights in a row in any spell in his professional career, dating back to October 2010. But he's well on the way to making it six in a row here for the first time as a professional. He's done it since the defeat by the twin brother of the man in front of him here tonight. Ryan's brother Liam beating him back in 2019, but Maxi saying this week how he's a much more rounded fighter. And as I said earlier in the contest, he's showing it here and has shown it throughout the contest. That's exactly what it is, Mike. He's well rounded. He's got a bit of everything. He's content and happy on the back foot, good on the front foot. See a big smile on his face here. He knows he's done the job and He'll be happy with that. Ryan Walsh will be frustrated, but it's been a very good boxing display by Maxi Hughes. Up on his toes, room to showboat in the closing stages of the contest, and warm applause all around this arena for another brilliant performance from Maxi Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action here in Leeds, we go to the judges' score totals, and they read as follows. Jérôme Landa, 120-108. Marcus McDonald, 119-109. And Gregors Melinda, 118-110. to All three for your winner by unanimous decision. And still, the Ariel Lightweight Champion of the World, Maxi.